Hi everyone. Good evening. It's Sunday night. Cookies puppies are now um, 23 days old. <laughs> this little dude was up here and he just rolled over. Uh, Cookies puppies are now 23 days old. They are getting so big. Their combined weight is now bigger than their mommy. Uh, Cookie, come here. Cookie, come here. Cookie, come here, babies. Come on. Cookie doesn't. Cookie wants attention from people, but she doesn't want to be. She doesn't. Oh, bye. Oh, she's looking out there. She's got her eyes on the hallway. Cookie, no one's out there. Come here, babies. Cookie, come here, sweet girl. Come on, honey. Can you come in? No? Okay. Cookie, come here, babies. She's, uh, she's not really wanting to be in here with the puppies that much. Um, I did get a couple more of them to try to eat a little puppy formula today. Um, I'm taking puppy formula and I'm warming it up so that it's like, a, uh, slightly warm, not hot. Oh, look, that puppy's dreaming. And then I'm mushing it up with puppy canned food. So I make like a, it's almost like oatmeal. I got, let me see, walnut ate some today and butterscotch ate some today. Um, the other three, Graham ate a little today. Um, the other three, I would, um, so like I take my finger and I put it in the puppy formula and then I put it on their tongue so they taste it. Um, and the other, uh, two like basically go, Bleh! they spit it out. They're like, no, we want mama's milk. Cookie, come here. Cookie, come on, honey. Come on, sweet girl. I know you don't want to be in here. I know you've been the best mama dog, the best, the best, the best cookie. You've been so brave. Um, I gave her a bath today when she's wet. You can see how thin she is, but she's not as thin as when she came here from the shelter. So, and she is still eating a massive amount of food. She's getting fed five meals a day. A cup of each meal of either just food for dogs or fresh pet. And then in addition to those five meals a day, she's getting um, puppy kibble that's left out around the clock, a free fed. So she is snacking. I would say she goes through about a cup and a quarter a day of puppy kibble because I measure it out. Maybe a cup and a half of puppy kibble. So she is eating a massive amount of food. But all her calories are being burned up by even if one puppy nurses for a little bit or two puppies. She can't keep up with nursing all five of them. And she's really exhausted. So hoping to, hoping to, um, get them all to start eating the puppy formula. Oh, there she goes. Bye. Bye, Cookie. I'll see you later. Bye, honey. She has been the best mama dog, though, really. Uh, I could not imagine if I... Imagine a human mom trying to nurse babies that weighed more than your own self. Like, I can't, I can't even imagine that. So each puppy is about 2 pounds to 2.25 pounds. And she only weighs 11 pounds. So there's five of them. And one of her. So they, I think today or uh, yesterday, they surpassed her in weight. In terms of their combined weight weighs more than Cookie. And I think that that really explains why she's exhausted. She just can't keep up. But she has tried so hard. She's the best mama. So um, those of you who haven't, who are just catching up... Um, and don't know Cookie's rescue story. She, uh, was rescued, uh, Camp Cocker Rescue got her and her puppies from the North Central Los Angeles City Animal Shelter. And, um, 
they had been at the shelter uh, for two days, and prior to that, they had been uh, under a dumpster. So, Cookie, oh, this, you got food on your face. Look, you got a little food on your face from when I was trying to feed you. Hi, Peanut. Oh, wait, no, this is Butterscotch. Okay, Butterscotch, there's two white puppies. Butterscotch is the one with a tiny amount of gray on his face. Let's see, you can, wait, I have to look. Um, wait, <laughs> no, this is, okay, I'm sorry. This right here is Butterscotch. He's got a tiny, tiny amount of gray on his face. And then this is Peanut. And then, let's see, this is Walnut. I can tell Walnut because he's got a patch of brown on the back of his head and then oh hello there cookie what do you think do you want to come feed are you thinking about it look here why don't why don't you why don't you let this baby have some milk um so this puppy is chip because he's he's white and tan and he's got on the back of his head a little tiny spot of caramel and then this, oh my God, the brown puppy, brown and white puppy is uh, Graham. Oh my God, look at him sleeping. Oh my God, look at his little paws. Could you just look at this all day? Oh, look, see, here's what happens. The puppies try to, the puppy's trying to get to, look, he's hungry. He's trying to nurse. Cookie. This is what, she walks away from them. He's trying to nurse, sweetie. I don't blame you, Cookie. I don't blame you, it's exhausting. How about you lay down and just let him nurse, just one? Cookie, no, 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 why don't you lay down? Can you lay down? I'll pet you. You wanna lay down? That baby just wants a little drink. You're so brave. I know it's a lot. I know. I know it's exhausting. I understand, but it's just one baby. Can you just let him? Here, what if I keep petting you so that he can have a little drinky drink? Yeah. If I stop petting her, she's going to um, jump out of the puppy pen. If I stop touching her. The only reason she's in here right now is because I'm in here. She doesn't want to be in here unless I'm in here and she comes in here to get pets from me. Good girl, Cookie. Good girl. She's such a good mommy. She really is a good mommy. Anyway, so Cookie gave birth to her puppies under a dumpster in uh, downtown Los Angeles. Oh, oh, Cookie, Cookie. Oh, there she goes. I'm sorry, little dude. Sorry, little dude. I'm sorry. Here, let's turn the camera around. Wait, how do I turn the camera? Turn the camera around here. There. I know, little dude. I know you were hungry. Your mama, please understand, your mama is overwhelmed. She's just overwhelmed. She loves you, but she's overwhelmed. So, Cookie, um... Let me fix the camera so I don't cover the microphone. So Cookie gave birth to her babies under a dumpster in downtown Los Angeles. And um, Animal Control uh, got a call uh, that somebody, um, it was the dumpster was behind a dentist office. So when the people came into work on Monday morning at the dentist office, they noticed Cookie under their dumpster in, in behind their dentist office so she, I'm thinking she was probably gave birth on a Friday night um and was under there with her babies for three nights and then animal control came and got her oh honey cookie your baby's hungry animal control came and got her and her babies and um at least they took her to the shelter to keep her safe and then hi you was on Facebook do you know what Facebook is? You was on it. Yes. What? What? What do you have to say? 
That's you. Are you looking at yourself? You want to get down? Um, and then Animal Control uh, brought them to the shelter and sent out an email blast to all the rescue groups. So um, that's how Camp Cocker ended up with them all. Oh, Cookie, this baby is still hungry. Oop, oop, what's happening over here? Upside down sleeping party. Look how good they're walking, though. They are toddling. Look, look, what? You're walking backwards? Are you doing the moonwalk? They're really getting good motor control. It's been happening this week. They're toddling around. Their legs are getting stronger. Hi, babies. Hi. Hi, babies. Where are you going? Look, they can, climb, they can climb up. Look at this. Look at their strong legs. Look at his little strong legs. He's able to climb up on the blanket. Look at that. Hi. Oh, you want to come? You want to snuggle back here? Huh, baby? You want to snuggle next to my leg? Oh, my God. Look at this. Look at this right here. Up close and personal with puppies. Look at that. This one is spa. Um... Not spot chip. Oh, look, this little puppy's licking my elbow. Hi, honey, can I hold you? Huh? Can I hold you, babies? You are beautiful. You're sweet babies. You're so sweet. This one is Chip, and this one is Graham. Oh, oops. Oh. <laughs> Oh, where are you going? What's going on over there? Big yawn, big yawn. Hi, Graham. Your eyes are open. Hi, babies. Were you having a little dream? These are nice puppies. They've been letting me handle them. They seem friendly. Oh, my God. Can you smell the puppy breath, everybody? Look at this little dude. <laughs> little dude. I know I just changed your blankets. Everything's nice and clean. I am doing so much laundry. My God, my water bill's going to be insane. I'm going through lots of laundry soap. Oh, they have a wish list, too. <laughs> I was thinking laundry soap is on the wish list. They have a wish list. If you go to iheartcockerspaniels.com. Um, I put the wish list also. There's a link in this post. So when I'm done live streaming, you can see the post with their wish list. All sorts of things. Puppy food is on there. Puppy toys, more blankets, laundry soap, wee wee pads. Look at this little dude. Hi. Well, hello there. Well, hello. Hello. Hi, little man. Let's see what these two are doing. This is Walnut right here. Walnut. And this one is, oh wait, see I have to look at the white one's faces. Oh, <laughs> what, what's going on? <laughs> what's going on? He's crawling on his brothers. You're waking them up. <laughs> look, they're not even waking up. They're like, oh, okay. Graham, did your brother wake you up? He's trying to make a puppy pile with you, too. Oh, my God. How adorable is this? Oh, Cookie's coming back in. Cookie, come on in. Come on in. Come on in, sweetie. See, look, she wants to come in to see, get attention, but she doesn't want to feed them. Hi, sweetie. Hi, honey. Cookie, you're the best mama. You're so nice. Cookie, you're so nice. You're so pretty. I was telling everyone what a good mama you were and how brave you were. You gave birth under a dumpster and you protected your babies until someone came along to, to get you out and save you. That was so nice. Animal control came and got you and your babies out of there. And they brought you all to a shelter so you could be indoors and safe. And then they sent an email out to all the rescue groups. 
And that's how we found out about you, Cookie. I know. That's the puppy was just on there. You smell where your puppy was laying? Yes. You're the best, Mama. You're so brave. I can't imagine how hard it was for her to give birth by herself under a dumpster. It must have been so scary and so dirty and gross. It must have been rats. Ugh. Um, oh, let me look at questions here. Okay, Angela Hubbley Floyd is asking, does Cookie sleep with the babies at night? Um, she used to, but she doesn't want to be in here anymore with them. So she usually, I mean, she can if she wants. She can come in and out. This puppy, this little puppy pen, I leave the door open so she can come and go. And then there's a little cardboard piece here to keep the puppies from getting loose. Um, but she either sleeps up on the couch or she sleeps on the beds here. Um, and uh, she was sleeping in here with them, but she has stopped in the last couple nights. And I think she's just really, I think she's just so stressed out and tired. Hey, little dude. Hi, little dude. Graham. Hi, little Graham. Hi, Graham. There you go. What's what are we talking about? Are we having? Are we saying something? Oh my gosh! Little face, the little paws. Look at the little paws. Those little paws. How sweet. So there's five puppies. They're all boys. And we are taking adoption applications at campcocker.com. We are not going to be making any decisions about uh, who's going to get adopted to who until they're closer to being ready. Because um, we have to get to know their personalities. And they also are going to have two months of socialization. The first 12 weeks of a puppy's life um, is 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 make it or break it for socializing them. If they don't get socialized in that first 12 weeks, you lose that window and it's over. I mean, it's hard to it's hard to it's hard to come back from it if they haven't been socialized by 12 weeks of age. So, we have a lot of work to do and we got to start socializing them um soon. We usually start at 30 days of age. And, but first thing, we got to find Cookie a foster home. Because we can't take them out of here and start socializing them if she's still in the house. Because she's very, she's guarding them. Um, Sherry Standish is asking, where are you located? Camp Cocker Rescue uh, is in California. We don't have a rescue facility. Uh, I wish. <laughs> I wish we don't. Financially, it's... Uh, out of reach, way out of reach. So um, we have foster homes, and um, they're all over the state. We have a foster home in Sacramento. Uh, we had one in Cambria. We have one in Orange County. Um, and the rest of the foster homes are in Los Angeles County. Um, oh, wait, there's one in Ventura County, too. So um, we're all over the state. But... Um, most of the foster homes are centered around the Los Angeles area. So, uh, but we don't have a facility. Wish we did. We do adopt out of state. Um, but uh, go on our website and read about the adoption process. It explains how out of state adoptions are handled. And no, we do not ship dogs to you. All adopters, no matter where you live, have to travel here to uh, adopt in person. We're just, we're not going to ship a dog, so don't, yeah. We want, you know, and the reason we don't is because it organically screens out people who maybe aren't prepared to make a lot of effort. So, and also there's plenty of dogs too. You can adopt in your own region if you don't want to travel to California. There's a lot of dogs everywhere to adopt. Lots and lots. So these are not Cocker Spaniel puppies, by the way. These are just mixed breeds, and we don't know who the baby daddy is. Uh, Trixie is a mixed breed. 
She's 11 pounds. Oh my gosh, I called her Trixie again. I keep doing that. Okay, her name is Cookie. Cookie is a mixed breed. She looks, uh, she's about 11 pounds. She looks like she might be Schnauzer mixed with something. Schnauzer Yorkie or Schnauzer Poodle or Schnauzer, Schnauzer Maltese, something. Cookie. Whoever adopts Cookie, we hope they'll do a DNA test because we're dying to know what she is. Um, and we have no idea who the baby daddy is, only that based on how big these puppies are, the baby daddy was a bigger breed, a much bigger breed. Right, Cookie? Much bigger. Um, so these puppies, um, based on their weight right now, uh, my guess is they might grow up to be 35 to 40 pound dogs as adults. But I could be wrong. Um, but I'm just, anyone who applies to adopt, I got to tell them that we don't know how they're, how big they're going to be. And they should be able, they should be prepared if they become 35 to 40 pound dogs, because they're definitely not going to be tiny dogs like Cookie. Right, Cookie? Here, why don't you come and hang out with me? You're a sweet girl. You're so pretty. You're very pretty. You were so good for your bath today. Cookie is supposed to be two to three years of age. Her teeth are pretty good. Let's see your teethies. A little tartar, but not much. Cookie, you are the best mama. You should get an award. Oh, that puppy just woke up. What was that? What? What, what was that? The puppy just put his head up and woke up. Did you have a little dream? Did you wake yourself up with a little dream? Did you just wake up? Hey, little dude. This is Peanut. This, oh wait, no. <laughs> no, this one has a gray face. That's butter. Oh my gosh. Butterscotch. Okay, so here's the cheat sheet. There's butterscotch. Chip. Graham. Peanut. And... Uh, trying to do this. I'm sitting with my back to the wall here. Peanut and walnut. That was so funny. You just woke yourself up and you woke up. Oh, big yawn. Who's a big yawn? You a big yawn. You like your little belly rubbed. Hi, honey. Hi, Bebes. So the two white puppies, if you can see, I don't know if you can see, their fur is a little wiry, like terrier. Like their mama. You got a little wiry terrier for like your mama. What are you? What are you, white with a little terrier? You're beautiful, handsome. You're cute. You're they're all boy dogs. I say beautiful all the time, but let's see if there's any other. Yes, Corey Wurangian said this just reminds me of Sydney's puppies. Yes. Um, except it was interesting. Sydney's puppies all looked like Cocker Spaniels. Um, and they were, their weights were Cocker Spaniel weights. So Sydney was able to nurse a little bit longer because her puppies weren't from a big breed daddy. Oh, look at this little dude. Hi, little dude. Hi. This is, are you, are you? Butternut, wait, are you peanuts? See, I have to look at the white ones side by side. Okay. N no, this one, this one, the sleeping one is butternut. This one is peanuts. Hi, peanut. Hi. Hi, what are, you, what are you thinking? What were you dreaming about? It woke you up. You had a little dream and you woke up. I like your little terrier fur up there. Look at the little terrier fur. Hi, Peanut. Yes. Why are you so cute and tiny? You're still pretty small, but you're just not small, small like a Cocker Spaniel. Oh, my gosh. They are all so perfect. Let's see if there's any other questions. 
Are they doing, oh, Lori Yamamoto, are they doing better on Puppy Mush? Well, oh my gosh. So today I got three of them to eat a little bit, a little bit, um, a little bit, um, but not a lot. And two of them spit it out. So, so far three of them ate a little, but, um, they still prefer cookies milk. And I'm thinking as the days pass and she doesn't want to nurse them, uh, they're going to just eventually start eating the puppy formula. Hi, little monkey. Hi, little baby. Hi. Hi, Butternut. Butterscotch. Oh my gosh. I called you Butternut. Your name's Butterscotch. Hi, little dude. Wait, no. No, this one's Butterscotch. Oh my, you know what? They both have a little gray on their face. This one is Peanut. You're Peanut because I can tell your pink, your pigment hasn't filled in yet on your face, on your nose, a little pigment still, see they're still pink, it's not all black yet. Peanut, you and your brother look so much alike though, it's hard to tell you apart. Peanut, you want your baby? Are you a baby puppy? You just a baby? You just a baby? Oh, here comes Cookie. Hi, here, hi Cookie. Sweet girl, you're so nice. You're such a good girl. I'm so proud of you, honey. I'm so proud of you. You did so good with these babies. 23 days old. I don't blame you. You did pretty good, though. I would say about two days ago is when she want, she stopped wanting to nurse. It was started about, it started on Friday. Yesterday, it really started. Because one of the puppies was screaming. He was so hungry. And she was just like, nope. Nope. Not feeding you. Um, I have a feeling she's coming in here to give them maybe a little tiny amount of milk. But she's not fulfilling them. So let me see here. The one on its back is cracking me up. Yes, this is Chip. So you can tell Chip because he has, um, oh wait, yeah, no, this is Chip. Let me show you Chip. So the back of his head, there's Chip. The back of his head has a little spot of buff, and you can't see it because he's laying on it right now. But this is Chip. Look, look how his little paws are. <laughs> look, his little paws and his little feeties, his little footsies. <laughs> and little belly and little paws little toe beans toe beans toe beans where's his other little foot there he is <laughs> oh my gosh look at these silly puppies upside down puppy we got upside down puppy right there. That's Chip. Um, yes, Lori says some are starting to get scruffy faces like Cookie. Yes, you know what they are. So I think we're going to see some of that terrier scruffy come in. But I wonder, Cookie, <laughs> this is, she either hangs out on here little bed or on the couch. These are her two spots. She doesn't want to come in here. Cookie, I would love for you to come in here and visit me. She's like, um, no thanks. I think I'll just watch you from over here. She's like, thank you for inviting me, but I'd like to just hang out over here. It's okay, Cookie. You get to do whatever you want. You deserve to do whatever you want, Cookie. Oh, look at all these babies. <laughs> Margaret Olivia says, I love Chip. Yes. <laughs> oh, wait, are his eyes open? Is he sleeping with his eyes open? No, he's not. 
Can you sm Oh, oh, what was that? <laughs> Did he have a little dream? His little legs just went plop. How funny. Oh, here comes Graham. Hi, Graham. Hello. Hello, little dude. Little graham cracker. <laughs> there's Chip. Okay, let me see if there's any other questions here. I can't believe how fast they're growing up not long ago with eyes. Yes, Valerie, they're growing so fast. It's happening so fast. It's crazy. <laughs> Butternut. Butternut's hilarious. Hi, Butternut. <laughs> hi. Oh, hi. Peanut, did you wake up? Oh, no, wait. Oh, my gosh. Am I getting them mixed up again? Wait a second. This one is butternut. That one's peanut. You know what? I'm not sure. I have to see them both facing me to tell them apart. Because one, they're both white, but one has more gray on the face. The one named um, butter, um, butterscotch is has more gray. Slightly. Um, let's see here. I'm just checking to see if there's any other questions. Oh, Lori Yamamoto, did you find a foster for Cookie? No, not yet. I'd like to find a foster for her. She would like me to find a foster for her. She is dying to get out of here. Um, I think she's also stressed because she knows my other dogs are in the house even though she can't see them. So I've got an X-Pen on this side of the doorway. There's a kitty gate at the doorway with a blanket. And then there's another kitty gate in the hallway. So the, the dogs really, she can't see them, but she knows they're down that hall. She knows they're in the house. That's why she keeps going over there. I think, um, I think she's just, She's got all her mommy hormones, and she's stressed because she knows there's other dogs around. Um, she actually was dog-friendly for the first couple of weeks, but in the last week, um, she's just really been stressed and wanting to protect her puppy, so she can't mix with the other dogs. Peanut's legs look shorter. Let me see. Um, maybe it's the way he's laying. They do look shorter the way he's laying right now. It could just be the way that he's laying. Okay. Hi. Hi, Walnut. So, Walnut, you can tell because Walnut has a big patch of brown on the back of his head. And Chip... Oh! What? Is Chip having a little dream? What? What did you say? Are you having a little dream? Oh, he's got some puppy food on his on his fur. Are you having a little dream, honey? Um so let me see here. Yeah, I I don't I don't know if his legs are shorter than the other puppies. I'll have to look when they're all five of them are up on their feet and walking. Um oh, but if you live anyone who lives in the Los Angeles region, if you are interested in fostering cookie. Please go to campcocker.com and fill out a foster application. Um, we need somebody who has a home that's quiet where she can decompress. Not a lot of, probably a home with no children because we still don't know if she is, um, you know, she's been a little snappy, but not with me, but she's been slightly snappy with visitors. And she hasn't bitten anyone. She what she does is she she air snaps or she takes her mouth, her teeth, and she puts it on their hand or their arm and she does like that, but she doesn't break skin. So I don't want to put her in a home with little little kids because we just don't know if that cookie is that mommy hormone stuff. Is it stress or are you really like that with people? Because she has not done that with me at all. But then again, I've been her primary caretaker and she had to trust somebody. So she's like, well, I better trust this lady because I got no one else. So 
because all the visitors have been very nice people and gentle with her, but she, uh, she just, you know, they've been petting her and petting her, and then all of a sudden she'll go, Rah! and she'll put her teeth on their skin, but she won't break skin. So I think for that reason, no children, because we just don't know enough about her. It could be totally just hormonal or puppy stress or that she is, it could be just all this stuff is just a lot of hormones in her body. So I don't want to say she's always going to be that way with, with strangers, but for right now, just to be safe, we want to find her a foster home that's quiet, not a lot of busyness, not, not, not a lot of activity, no children. She just needs to be pampered and de she needs to decompress. You need to decompress. Yeah. You need to be spoiled. You need to be someone's little princess. We got puppies twitching here. Puppy dreams. Um, anyway, if anyone's interested in fostering, go to campcocker.com and fill out the foster application. And in general, we always need foster homes anyway for our other dogs. Um, right now we have two dogs that need foster homes. They are both with Rover sitters right now. Um, we uh, use Rover sitters when we don't have enough foster homes. And it costs, it's expensive. You know, it's about the same price as if we had to pay for boarding. So we, we are, short, we are short by two foster homes right now. Well, actually three if you count that we need one for Cookie. Hey, Cookie, what are you doing? I think she's laying on the other side of those. These are the dirty blankets I just changed. Don't lay on them, honey. I just I just cleaned and changed all the blankets and I gotta wash those. Um, so we're short. We're always short on foster homes, but right now we are sh we are down. We are short by two foster homes plus a f one for Cookie, so three actually. So if you live in the Los Angeles area and want to foster, please sign up. Go to campcocker.com. And uh, oh my gosh, look how relaxed Chip is. He is so relaxed right now, sleeping on his back. <laughs> I wish I could be that relaxed when I sleep. It's almost like a, re a little yoga pose. <laughs> Look at him. Oh, wait, what? Oh, is he having a dream? What are you dreaming about, honey? Oh, Cookie, come on in. Yeah, come in, honey. Come on, sweetie. Come on in, sweetie. Hi, honey. You're so pretty. Cookie really is a, such a nice dog. I mean, she's so nice. I think this has just been a lot that she's just been through the last three weeks. And prior to going into labor, imagine her walking around fully pregnant and not having a home to give birth in. She had to find... She had to find a place to give birth, and she picked under a dumpster. Which, when you think about it, that was kind of a smart move. Because under a dumpster, even though there's rats, um, she she was hiding her puppies away from any birds or crows. Um, so that was kind of smart, even though it, you did the best that you could, Cookie. Yeah, you did the best that you could. And uh, I'm just sad. I'm sad that you had to give birth under a dumpster. Oh, let's see. Valerie Gonzalez is asking, does Cookie still potty them? Oh, they're potting on their own now. You can see, like here, um, there's another right here. I had Before I came in here, I had just changed all the wee-wee pads. So, yeah, they're potting on their own now. They're peeing and pooing on their own. I think puppies start doing that by two and a half weeks of age, three weeks of age, and they are, yeah, they're definitely potting on their own now. She doesn't need to potty them anymore. Oh my God, Chip cracks me up. Well, what's this little dude? Did he just yawn? Is that music making them sleepy? I've got 
I put, I went on, look, here I have this on all the time. On YouTube, I, I went to YouTube and put in um, Calm Music. And there's a bunch of different channels that are just run Calm Music. It's, li it's a live stream, I think. So if you ever want to leave some soft music on for your dogs, go to YouTube and look for Calm Music. And uh, there's a bunch of YouTube channels that run it live, so it's just 24 hours a day. I think it's probably the same music, actually, but they don't care. What? 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 What, Chip? Oh, are you waking up? Oh, your eyes are open. Did you have a, Did you just have a little dream? Were you just dreaming, honey? Yeah, you didn't know you was on the internet? And people were seeing how cute you were? Is that right, Chip? Yes. Yes. Oh, what? Someone else is waking? Is that a dream? Walnut. Oh, look, he's having a little dream. Look, he's twitching. What? He's having a little dream. So, um, you know how some adult dogs have handling issues? Like, they don't like their paws touched, or they get snappy. Or if you take them to a groomer, they're not good with their paws and toes being groomed, and they get, they get reactive or try to bite or snap. When you have an adult dog like that, that tells you that whoever um, the puppy was with the first uh, the first month of their life was not doing this. So see what I'm doing? I'm doing. I'm doing. Been doing this multiple times a day with each puppy, just touching them all over, but especially um, doing touching the paws and the toes. And this right here stimulates um, their nervous system. And it stimulates their brain. So I'm sending signals to their brain and it feels good. So, um, so these puppies are not going to have issues being handled when they grow up. Um, not if we do our job of socializing. And I mean, I've been the one primarily handling them for the last two weeks, but right here, this is what breeders should be doing. And unfortunately, puppy mill breeders are not doing this at all. So pet stores that sell puppies, um, from pup, you know, pet stores that sell puppies are getting them from puppy mills. Um, even if they say they're not, they just are because no legitimate breeder needs a pet store to sell their puppies. Legitimate breeders have waiting lists, like two year waiting lists. So, um, pet store puppies, the first time they're ever touched, really handled is eight weeks of age when they arrive at a pet store and pet store employers are touching them. And that's really sad because they have missed out on eight weeks of this is part of socializing a puppy right here. And those poor pet store puppies have missed out on this. They've totally missed this. This helps develop their neurological system, their nervous system. It stimulates their brains. So this is what, um, this is part of puppy socialization. Touching them, handling them, touching them all over. Their faces, their bellies, their abdomens, their butts, everything. So that by the time these puppies get adopted, they're going to be so trusting of humans. They are not going to be afraid of humans. They're not going to be shy. They're going to be confident because they will not have had any negative experiences and they also won't have had a lack of experience. So like puppy mill dogs, they're not, they haven't necessarily been had bad experiences with humans. They just have had no experiences with humans. So, um, oh, the two puppy mill dogs that we committed to that were... Um, just rescued, oh my God, Chip's face right now. Look at this little, look at this dude, Chip. <laughs> it cracks me up. So we committed to two cockers that were rescued from a puppy mill about a week ago. 
um, in South Korea are rescue partners. The Cocker Moms went and got them. And the two Cockers, one is a three-year-old female and one is a seven-month-old male. And that poor male, he has never left his cage for seven months. He is so terrified right now in his foster home. He's been hiding in a closet and then he was hiding behind a toilet. And, uh, oh my God, it just reminded me of poor Willow, you know, in Vigo Beagle Willow. It's just, anyway, these five puppies are going to be confident. They are going to trust humans. They are not going to be timid. And by the time they go to their adopters, they are going to be such well-socialized puppies. So... All right, everybody. But that's just some tips for if you ever, if people watching this are going to go to a breeder and buy a puppy, you want to go to a breeder that does, that is, first of all, allows you to visit in person and meet the parent dogs. Secondly, a breeder that will give you all of the medical records for the parent dogs. And thirdly, a breeder that will allow you to visit so you can handle your puppy handle your puppy and also you want to um um you want to look for a breeder that does puppy socialization oh gosh there's a there's an actual program that some breeders follow it's similar to what i do to what we do at camp cocker which is basically handling the puppies every day from birth and socializing them to various stimuli um, oh my God, Chip. Anyway, but if you're going to go to a breeder, those are the things you want to look for. Uh, people who are still buying puppies off of the websites on the internet and they don't go in person. They don't see where the puppies are being raised. And oh, it's just really sad because they end up getting puppies that aren't, haven't been socialized and they're not confident puppies. Hi, Bibis. Hi, Walnut. Walnut, you is upside down. Did you have a nice nappies? Look at this little, little pause. Walnut, you waking up? Did you have a nice nappies just now? Why are you so cute? Yeah, who was your baby daddy? You don't know? He said, you don't know my baby daddy? He left town. He He left town after he... Had his way with my mama. <laughs> oh, look at these little monkeys. All right. Well, this has been a long live stream. It's getting late. And, uh, Graham. Oh, my God. Look at this. Hi, Graham. They almost look like little baby bunnies right now. Look at, doesn't he look like a little bunny? A little curled up bunny rabbit. <laughs> oh my god. Look, look how he's sleeping. Upside down. We got an upside down sleeper. So, all right, everyone. Well, I hope you have a good, hope you had a good weekend. Hope this is a nice way to end your weekend. Sunday night, or if you're watching this on a Monday morning, hope this is a nice way for you to start your week. Hi, babies. So thanks for your support. If you want to buy the, if you want to buy cookies, puppies, a little gift, send them a baby gift. They have a wish list up on iheartcockerspaniels.com. You can send them a baby gift. So, all right, everybody have a good night. Bye. -bye.